Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I'm back with another video. This one is super duper late, so I do apologize. This is what I melted um, and what I emptied from the month of March. So I'm totally behind, please forgive me. <laughs> it's just been kind of crazy here. Busy with work and life and stuff like that. So I just got totally behind with that, so I do apologize. But I do have a lot here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get everything in one video. I may have to break things up, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and try to move through this stuff as quickly as possible because I do have a lot here. Um, as you can see, I have been really trying to melt through my stash and finish up things that just had like little pieces here, little pieces there um, to get rid of so that I can start moving on the more recent stuff. So I'm working on like the older stuff and then the things where you just got like two pieces or three pieces and you know, you've been holding on to it and it's like for what, just melt the wax. You can always get more when it comes back around. So that's what I've been trying to do. It's been working really well for me. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing I have here is from Super Tarts. This is Lil' Droid. This is Blue Sugar Papaya Sponge Sugar. <laughs> And I did enjoy this one. This one was from the fruity category. And you definitely get the um, the papaya comes out the strongest. I feel like the blue sugar and the sponge sugar really added to the sweetness um, of the papaya. So that papaya really came out more. I definitely enjoyed this. I would purchase this again. Then I have Grudge, which is from the Berry Collection. So this is a blueberry muffin, vanilla, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, vanilla bean, sandalwood, and fall leaves. And this one was really nice. It was more so blueberry muffin and like that vanilla bean with that sandalwood in the background. And just a touch of fall leaves to my nose. I mostly got the blueberry muffin and the vanilla bean, but this was delicious. I would get this again. I also have a scent shot cup from Soul's Inspiration. This is lavender, vanilla, baby bees, buttermilk. And this one was a very relaxing nighttime blend. I would definitely get more of this one, preferably in the loaf, because I did enjoy that. It's very creamy, um, very soothing. I definitely enjoyed that one. Then I have scent shot, a scent shot cup um, from Breezy's Tarts. This I had got in the Round Robin, so um, I've never actually purchased from him. But um, one of these days, <laughs> when I get through my stash, I may place an order. So this one was Strawberry Champagne Punch, and this one was juicy. It was fruity. You got a little bit of that champagne-y vibe. So I felt like I got like little bubbles from like the champagne. Not like fizzy like soda, but like the bubbly from the champagne. This one was really good. I definitely enjoyed this one. I would get more of that. Then I had caramel latte. <clears throat> and this one was so good. The coffee note in this one was very present. Um, it was sweet. It was creamy and very strong coffee. I would definitely get more of that one. So I definitely enjoyed that. And then um, I'm moving into bags. So this was uh, Beetlejuice from Yum Yum Wax. I oh gosh, I can't remember what this one was. It was a uh, what the notes were specifically, but this one was a bakery uh, blend, I believe. And I when I melted it at the time, I did enjoy it. Um, I I think I had placed no. I either got this one in a D stash or either in a sample when I placed an order. I can't remember, but I did enjoy this one. Um, and I don't know if she has this all, all year long or if this is just like, you know, in the fall, like around um, Halloween. But I did enjoy this one when I melted it. I have Destination Wax. This is grass stain. This one, it says a uh, single note scent of fresh green grass. I definitely enjoyed it. It was fresh. It was green. Um, very beautiful um, uh, blend. I would definitely get more of that. This one was Simo Wax Melt, and this was a Blueberry Muffin in Hazelnut Cafe. This one was okay. Um, on cold, it smelled really nice. On warm, it didn't really throw for me like I wanted it to. Um, but I enjoyed it while I, while, while I melted it. I'm not sure if I would repurchase this, though. And this one was from um, 
Love Fat Wax. It was in the shape of a huge, beautiful, chunky frog. And this one was called The Julie. It was birthday cake, cotton candy, serendipity. This one was delicious. I definitely enjoyed this. Um, I would repurchase. Um, I know when I purchased it before, these the chunky frogs kind of like sold out really quickly. So um, if I got a chance to place an order again, I would definitely get more of this blend because it was really good. Nice bakery. This was a mystery bag from Sassy Wax Melts. I finally finished this one, um, and this one was really good. It was just like a mystery blend of, like I got like a lot of coffee notes, creamy, um, sweet, um, uh, like it was just a blend, and it was really, really nice. So I definitely enjoyed that. And this one was uh, Christmas with Bay. This one is Pomegranate Noir Black Ice Shaving Cream. This was in one of the Advent boxes. Uh, and this one smells so good. A nice, um, not super manly, but a really nice sexy blend. I definitely enjoy that. I would get that in a custom. Then this one is Aladdin's Wish from Waxidents. And this one was uh, crisp orange, spicy, sweet bergamot, tea leaves, geranium, and sultry violet. This was so good. Oh, my God. Like, you got that orange. You got the bergamot. Um, it was, like, earthy, um, fruity. Like, this one was really, really such a beautiful blend. I would definitely get more of this one. Um, and I think this one came as a sample. But it was beautiful. I would get more of that one for sure. We have uh, that Smell Good Shop. And this is Voldemort Driftwood Better Coconut. I definitely enjoyed this one too. Um, I feel like... So I got the coconut. I definitely got that Better Red and the Driftwood. This was a little bit... A um, little bit woody... Um, coconutty, but not like, um, suntan lotion coconut. It was good. I definitely liked it. Um, I would have to get, this was my first time getting this one. So I would definitely get more of this again to, you know, play around with this one more. Then this one was sparkles, uh, wax melts. And this is sun energy. This was sweet orange, grapefruit, pineapple, jasmine, apricot, Creamy vanilla sandwich and musk. This one was okay. Um, it didn't really throw for me like I wanted it to. It smelled really nice on cold. But um, it was just okay for me. Um, not sure if I would repurchase this again. I did get this in a random act of kindness. Um, I, I mean, on cold, you really got all of the notes on cold. But just on warm, um, it didn't perform for me as well as I thought it would. But it was a nice blend. And this one is from a uh, closet full of wax. This was Dewey Decimal 2.0. And this was in a... So when we did the round robin, we also had the option to add in different things as extras for the individuals if we wanted to. So this was something that was added as an extra for me. And this was from Jay. And this was a custom that he created with closet full of wax. And this was so good. I love library the the smell of like the books and then cashmere cedar like barbershop this was a beautiful it was warm you got the um the books it was woody this was really good i definitely enjoyed this i was sad to see this go um but this one was good and this one was from lord apothecary and this was wake me up this was bold coffee and vanilla cream and this one was from June of last year. Um, this one was okay. It was a little bit on the light side. Um, but I did enjoy it. It was more creamy than anything. Like, I didn't think the coffee note was strong. I prefer my coffee blends to be much stronger. This one was a little, was more creamier. It wasn't as strong as I would like my coffee um, blends. But it was nice. Um... Unfortunately, Laura Apothecary had to shut down due to uh, personal family issues. So I do have other things in my collection from her. Um, so I'm going to be sad to see those things go. But um, I did like this one, but it was just more on the creamier side, not so much heavy on the coffee to my liking. <laughs> 
Then we have VCS. This is Rosebud Motel. This was cinnamon buns, blueberry muffins with coffee, extra whipped cream. This was so delicious. It was sweet. It was creamy. Um, you got the, the cinnamony from the cinnamon buns, the blueberry muffins, the coffee note. This was a delicious bakery coffee blend. I definitely enjoyed that one. And then this one was another one from VCS. This is apple fritter. This was butter, buttery vanilla fresh fold dough, gooey batter, apple fritters, a hint of sugar, almonds, uh, like you just walked into the bakery. This was delicious. When I tell you, it, it, you literally felt like you was in a bakery ordering some apple fritters to take into the office for your coworkers and you guys had like a fresh pot of coffee and these apple fritters. This was delicious. Definitely would get more of this. We have um, Hayden Road Kennedy Compound, and this is Bergamot Lavender Citrus Sandalwood Cedarwood. This blend, oh my God, you guys, I love this so much. I have souffles of it. I have a loaf. It's so good. You definitely get like the lavender, the citrus, um, the sandalwood. Like you get all of the notes, and it's just a beautiful blend when you warm it. It's just so beautiful. It's one of those things where you just, you know, or just like sitting on the couch, just hanging out, having conversation, and you put that on. It's like such a nice, um, uh, not like relaxing in terms of like, you know, I'm trying to go to bed relaxing, but just kind of like, just it's just a vibe. It's a whole vibe. This scent is beautiful, and I will always have this as long as the oils are available and it's offered. Then I have fresh linen, and this one was notes of clean cotton. Uh, powder, musk, light florals, light citrus in a way that screams clean, fresh, and welcome. And this is exactly what this is. It's a beautiful scent that you would want to use on a day of cleaning. It's fresh. And it's, like I said, it's one of those things where it says welcome. You know, um, very cr um, crisp, clean, fresh. And um, it really ties into when you're cleaning your house. Moving on, we have Teddy B's. This is berry waffle cone. Sweet berries combined with the freshly baked waffle cone and creamy vanilla. This was delicious. You got the berries. You got the waffle cone. A delicious bakery blend. I would definitely get more of that. Um, coffee bean a la mode. So this was coffee bean, ice cream, vanilla, waffle cone, whipped cream, and caramel. This was a delicious coffee blend. I really enjoyed this. Would definitely get more of that. Then we have Valhalla. This was White Clouds, Magic in the Air, Vanilla Snowflake, uh, BBW type. This was beautiful. So beautiful. Mm, I still get like little hints of it in there. But this was a beautiful, just, um, what am I trying to say? I'm so like, um. White Clouds, so... I, I, to me, I got laundry and just like airiness. Um, this is beautiful. It was just a beautiful scent. It was light. It was airy. It was um, clean. I definitely enjoyed this one. I believe I have more of this. I would get more of that if I don't have more. Moving on, we have Ebony Violet. Um, this one was Eat the Cake Anime. This one is Vanilla Ice Cream, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Espresso Beans. This was so good. Oh, my God. It was so delicious. You got all of the notes. You got the creaminess from the ice cream. You got the um, chocolate and toffee notes from the Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And that coffee, the Espresso Beans, it was really good. I definitely enjoyed this. We'll get more of that. <laughs> Then we have a sample. This was April's Dance Boom Boom Cream and um, Sweet on Paris. This one was really, really good too. You definitely got the Boom Boom. Um, I feel like the Boom Boom came out the strongest. Um, this was a beautiful blend. I had this one in the bathroom since this was just a sample. I believe I have this in a souffle or souffles, but this one was really good as well. Then we have olive branch type. So this was orange, uh, lemon, green, light florals, musk, and vanilla. This one was another beautiful spa-like uh, blend. Definitely enjoyed this. Would get more of this. I believe I do have more of this. 
Then we are moving on to uh, the pharmacist's daughter. This was graphite type. This was a type, and this was a sample. This was a nice um, masculine blend. I definitely would get more of this one. Um, I haven't placed an order with them in a while because I do have a lot of wax from them that I'm trying to work through, but I would get more of that um, if the opportun opportunity arose. This was Cozy Cabin, and this was Icy Peppermint, Crackling Birch, White Birch, and Vanilla. I definitely like this one. It was so crisp. Um, that peppermint was really nice. Um, you had the, the Crackling Birch, the White Birch, and the Vanilla. So you definitely got like the woodiness from the birches and that vanilla. I definitely enjoy that. Uh, what's, come on, focus, focus, focus. Let's see. Checking the time here because I start work at 10 o'clock. Um, so this one was King Cake. So this is Coffee House, Morning Beignet, Fresh, or Fresh, French Custard, Sugar Cookie Dough, Cinnamon Sugar Donut. I love this one. Uh, if you're not familiar with King Cake, King Cake comes around um, Mardi Gras time in New Orleans. And, um, you know, of course, they bake the cake and then they have like the little baby inside and you have to find it and then it has meaning behind it. Um, I do have this in a loaf. Uh, this was shapes though. I think it was like little coins or what have you, but I do have this in a loaf. This was so good. It definitely takes me back to being in New Orleans, um, with the food and the pastries and the coffee. Definitely enjoyed this. This was a delicious bakery blend. We definitely keep getting this one. Um, this one was beans and cream. This was coffee house, marshmallows, sweet and creamy, coconut shortbread cookies, another delicious coffee blend so creamy just delicious you got i for one could pick out that coconut from the shortbread cookies this was really good i would definitely keep this one in my stash then we have coastal fair this was zucchini bread cotton candy candy apple i have more of this this is so good you definitely feel like you're at the fair with this one you get the zucchini bread the cotton candy and that candy apple it's so good um i love this one and I'm so happy that I still have more of this in my stash, but it's really, really good. So I would definitely um, look to getting more of this one in the future if she brought this one out and offered it again. Once I start back ordering again. Then we're going to move on to Nana Makes Sense. This one was at the fair. This was caramel, corn, buttery brown, sugar, cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was another um, blend that basically transported you so like you were at the fair with the rides and the, and the cotton candy machine and the popcorn and all of that just fun fair goodness definitely enjoyed this one would get more of this one i know um miss barb is on a break right now due to some health issues hopefully she makes a comeback um because i really do enjoy her wax and um what i have melted so far in my collection so hopefully she does make a comeback this is Chicks Be Laughing, and this was um, a creation by Veronica, um, a.k.a. Ninja Mom. Uh, I know that she uh, shut down her YouTube channel again, and I think she's only going to be doing, like, IG Lives or Reels um, um, in terms of, like, posting when it comes to her wax stuff. So, um, I did enjoy her channel while she had it. I was sad when she took it down the first time. I was excited when she brought it back. Now I'm sad again that she's, you know, taking it down again. But I understand you have to do what's best for you. This blend from her was a beautiful blend. This is lemon chiffon cake, blueberry frosty, and peeps. It was so good. You got the lemon from the lemon chiffon cake, the blueberry frosty, and then you got those peeps. Can't oh my gosh, it was so good. The marshmallow peeps. This was really good. I think I have one more of these in my stash. I think. But um, if Miss Barb does come back, you definitely, um, with her, you can always make customs of blends. So if you see something that you really like and or it was someone else's creation and you want to get more of it, you can always order it in a custom and, you know, get it that way. This, oh, so I think I used both of my chicks be laughing. <laughs> So I don't have more. So another chicks be laughing. Um, use that one. So I definitely will have to write that down so I can um, order more if she does come back around. And this one also was another at the fair. Um, enjoyed those. This one here was um, a blend that I created. Um, she had did a contest for Valentine's Day. And this one was Hey Lover. This is Palo Santo uh, Blue Sugar and Sandalwood. 
And um, I had won. Uh, she had three contest winners, and I was one of the winners. So this one was my uh, free bag that I got of my custom. Plus, I had got a coupon code. Um, but I also have, like, shapes um, in this blend as well. So um, I love this blend. It was so good. I was so happy that it won and that others who got it enjoyed it as well. So um, I was sad to see this go. I think I might have some more shapes in this one. And then that will be it for that one. But once again, I could always order this in a custom. Okay, so we're... Reaching the end towards the empty soon. Um, so this is uh, Rose Girls, and this is uh, Cherry Berry Punch Kool-Aid Rainbow Sherbet Saltwater Taffy Ice Cream. So the Kool-Aid Rainbow Sherbet Saltwater Taffy Ice Cream, that was Kokomo. So this was from her Kokomo Sampler, and this was a delicious, fruity, creamy, mm, you still can smell it, blend um, that came in the sampler. I do still have a couple of chunks from that sampler that I am melting through. This one was Have Yourself a Merry Mario Christmas. I got this one in a sample, and this was Peppermint Mocha Cookies and Dunk My Donut, a delicious peppermint bakery blend. I actually got this in a um, mini melter bag, I think it was, because I enjoyed it that much so. Um, and I'm not really keen on, like, um, like, chocolate scents, but this one was really, really good. I definitely enjoyed it, and it's opened my mind to other possibilities with chocolate notes and wax. This one was Boom Boom Gilligan's Brew Rainbow Sherbet Saltwater Taffy Ice Cream. So, again, the Rainbow Sherbet um, Saltwater Taffy Ice Cream is from the Kokomo. And, wait, hold on, what was this one? Okay, so the Rainbow Sherbet Saltwater Taffy Ice Cream is Kokomo. Um, so this one was just cherry, cherry berry punch Kool-Aid plus Kokomo. This one was Boom Boom Gilligan's Brew plus Kokomo. This one was another delicious, uh, Kokomo blend. Um, the Gilligan's Brew is heavy whipping cream and coconut. It was so good. This one was very creamy, um, fruity. You got the Boom Boom. Definitely enjoy that one. We'll get more of that. We have Midnight Rain. Um, this one was a nice florally rain scent. I definitely enjoyed this one. This one also came in a sampler um, where it was two chunks. I do have a big bag back there that I haven't finished, which I will get to that one later. Um, but this one, I definitely enjoyed this one and would, you know, get more of that. <laughs> Once I finish melting through what I have. Then we have Bay, which is Spruce Willis. And we all, well, not all of us, but the majority of us, we love uh, um, Spruce Willis. This is Blue Spruce and Flannel. This is so, that one, if you don't like strong scents, you might want to steer from this one. But this one is strong. It's fresh. I love it. It's such a good scent. It's so good. You get the flannel. You get the, the tree note from the Blue Spruce. It is beautiful. It's just a sexy, fresh, very strong note. Um, I enjoy it so much that I have tons of this in my stash. Um, I literally had to stop buying it because it was like melt through what you have first before you order more. But I enjoy this and will always have that. Uh, this is Night Shift and this is Espresso French Vanilla Latte Confetti Cake uh, Toffee Butter Starch Pretzels and Cookies. So the confetti cake, toffee butterscotch cookies and, um, or pretzels and cookies is, um, cookie land. So this is espresso French vanilla latte and cookie land blend. This was delicious. I love this. I have, this was a chunk muffin. I do have more chunk muffins in this blend. I have mini melters in this blend because I definitely enjoyed it. I do prefer a stronger coffee note. So I like espresso. This one was really good. So you had that espresso with the French vanilla latte. Um, you got the butteriness from the, the pretzels and the toffee, then the cookie, like this is just a delicious blend. Trust me, you can't go wrong with this blend. If you really like coffee blends, you will love Night Chef. Um, this one is Grandma Got Ran Over by Chain Chomp. This is Black, bleh. okay. <laughs> Blackberry Jam Cookies, Cotton Candy, Waffle Cone. This one is so good. I had this in, um... 
I think these were like mini melter chunks or mini melter sample sampler. I have this in a loaf. I also have this in chunks in like the chunk bags. This is so good. This is from the Mario collection, but it's so good. The blackberry jam cookies you get, you get the cop the cotton candy, that sweetness that cotton candy adds to me, it just adds extra sweetness. And then that waffle cone, it's so good. Um, I'm so happy that I have this in a loaf and in uh, chunks as well. This one I received in a random act of kindness. And this, I believe that was from Tam. Yes, from Tam. And this was Rose Girls Sicilian Sugar, oh, sugar Plum Cookies. <laughs> Um, this one was delicious. It was a really nice bakery blend. I enjoyed this. I don't know if she brings this around often. I, I don't I haven't really paid attention to it, but I did enjoy this one. Then we have the laundry fairy. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. Um, this is lavender, freshly fit, freshly faded, mm, freshly folded and put away laundry. When I tell you, so when Jenny created this blend, um, it was the order that she did for chunk muffins. When I tell you guys, I ordered like 10 chunk <laughs> muffins. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's, it's very heavy on the laundry. So if you don't like heavy laundry, you might not like this one. When I first got this, I, um, I had, I think the mini melters, I believe. Or when I first melted it, not got it. But when I first melted it, it was in the mini melters. And I put two mini melters um, in my warmer. That was too much. Like, it was it was too much. I was just like, okay, yeah, you overdid it with that. So, with this one, less is more. Because it's a super strong scent. But it's clean. It's fresh. It's just so good. And it's just like it said. It's, you know, you have that lavender note with freshly folded put away laundry. I love this. I still have chunk muffins of this. I still have mini melter bags of this. It's so good. I did pass on it when I think when it came around with the one of the um, previous pre-orders because I still have a lot of it in my collection. And I was like, nope, melt through what you have first. <laughs> then we have Britta's. And this is Murderous Summer of 1980. And this was Gain Island Fresh Bamboo Bora Bora. This came from the Jason... It was the Jason um, Voorhees, what was it, uh, Summer Box, I think it was, from last year. And it was basically based on um, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. And this one was really good. You got that laundry note. You got that green note from the bamboo and that island, um, like island tropical from the Bora Bora. I would definitely get more of this one. I definitely enjoyed that. This one is Night Terrors. This is Lavender, Blueberry Cheesecake, Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow. This one is so good. You definitely, like for me, um, I really could pull out the Blueberry Cheesecake. It was so delicious. I was like, oh, it's so creamy. You got the blueberry. Then you got that. First of all, Britta's Lavender is amazing. I love her lavender. Um, I like lavender in general, but I feel like her lavender is so good. Um, it really... Um, like you really can get that lavender note when you are put when you put it in a melter, it just smells amazing. So I definitely um enjoy her lavender the most. I would say like her lavender is like my top lavender blend, um, in terms of lavender scents because oh crap. Um, sorry about that, guys. I just rubbed my eye, and I forgot I have mascara on. <laughs> See, see what happens when you, when you don't wear a mask or a makeup for a super long time. Uh, working from home, you know, I had no purpose to really do that. But I'm trying to get back into the swing of things because I do go into the office um, a couple of days a week. And um, today I just decided to, you know, I was like, oh, let me try this new mascara out. And I just completely rubbed my eye and got bits of mascara in my eyeball. So, got to wrap this up. <laughs> um... But this one was really good. I do believe I have more of this. I think I have this in a loaf um, as well. Because this is one of my favorite blends. We have John. This was Barbershop 1920s Black Seed. This was really nice. It was a very nice, um, not overly masculine, but very like sexy blend. I definitely enjoy that. We'll get more of that one. Uh, this was Sweet Dreams, another beautiful lavender blend. This one is another one of my favorites. This was Lavender Pink Sugar Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Definitely enjoyed it. You got the lavender, you got the pink sugar. 
Um, it was like very pretty. Um, perfect for nighttime. Would definitely get more of that. And I do have more in my collection. And I have Voorhees Vendetta. And again, this is from that summer box with uh, that was based off of Friday the 13th. And um, this was Living Coral Reef, Sea Kelp, and Grass. This was a beautiful grass green um, scent. Enjoyed it. Would get more of this. Um, I definitely uh, would try to get this in like a custom loaf because I really enjoyed this one. And let's pull this. So it's looking like once I get through these empties, I'm going to possibly break this up um, into a part two with the things that I melted so that I could start um, getting queued up for work. So let's go through the rest of these empties that I have here. So this is L3 and this is Strax Acid Bath and this was Boogie Be Gone Peppermint Rosemary Mint. This I, when I tell you guys, oh, it's so good. It's minty. It's crisp, like the the crisp bit, like from like that mint. Um, this is so good. Um, Boogie Be Gone is a uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. So, this came in handy on the nights where I couldn't breathe or my daughter couldn't breathe and we were congested because of allergies. And when I tell you this would open us up like nobody's business, this is so good. I literally, like, you should see me trying to scrape and get like, get the rest out. But, of course, it, that wouldn't have been enough for a melt. But it's so good. I, I don't know if I have more of this or not. But this is really good. I would definitely keep that in my, my collection for those nights when I need to breathe and sleep comfortably. This one was Boom Boom Cherry. And this was a sample. And this was a scoopable. And you definitely got that cherry note. But it wasn't like the cherry, like, you know how some cherries, you get like a almondy note um, or a scent. This was literally like a nice cherry. More like, um, maybe like maraschino cherry to me. But this was nice. With that boom boom, it was very beautiful. Um, I definitely enjoyed this one. And this was a scoopable uh, sample. So I did use that and enjoyed it. I would get more of that one. We have Cotton Candy Snuggle. This one was really good. It was a nice laundry um, cotton candy blend. The cotton candy just added some extra sweetness to the snuggle, which I enjoyed. This was Benny and June Hufflepuff. And this was from the uh, Hufflepuff Sampler, which I still have tons of muff, uh, chunk muffins to go through. Uh, this one was French Baguettes, Honey Butter, and Blackberry Marmalade. I definitely enjoyed this one. This was a really delicious bakery blend. Hufflepuff is so good. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a really nice bakery blend and mixed with other things. It's um, really good as well. And I don't know exactly what Hufflepuff is, but I believe... I'm not even going to guess because I can't think right now. But uh, French Baguettes, Honey Butter, um, Blackberry Marmalade is Benny and June. Um, and I forget what Hufflepuff is, but it's a bakery blend and I enjoy it. We have gold sugar, and this was orange mandarin, orange neroli, creme brulee, coconut orange blossom, whipped cream, Australian sandalwood, and musk. This was beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I enjoyed this one. You definitely got the orange, um, the, the citrus notes. This was a beautiful uh, scent to me. I would really like this in a, like a whipped body butter. Or a shower gel. Or even a dry oil rub. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It was just really beautiful. Um, and I would get more of that. This is uh, Leah's Donut Shop. So this one is cinnamon buns, of course, cheesecake, caramel, coffee, freshly baked pastries, creamy butter, and bakery air. <laughs> Bakery air. What is bakery air? So just think being in a bakery and the smells that you get when you walk into the bakery. All of everything just being baked. The bakery items that are baked and warming. The things that are being made. You just 
when you walk into a bakery, just that whole atmosphere of being in a bakery is just delicious. This was so good. I definitely enjoyed this one. This was a puppy pack, and I would definitely get more of this. And as you can see, I finished up another one. And this one was Boozy Grandmom uh, Sugar Cookie Buttered Rum Espresso. This, oh my gosh, was super sweet, super strong. So, 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 so good. And as you can see, this is from 2020. And this one threw like a beast. When I tell you, I put this on and I was like, whoa, this is so strong. Like it literally was to the point where it was just like, okay. And I think <laughs> it was getting to me. Um, I've melted this blend before because I had a couple of puppy packs in the scent and it never bothered me. Um, but after talking with Jay, it was he, we kind of deduced that because I probably was hungry that the scents just amplified and just, I literally felt like I can't take this anymore. It's just too strong for me, but it's so good. It's so delicious. Like once I ate, then it was like, okay, it went back to like the normal, Oh, this is really good. This is delicious. You know, you definitely could get the um, the sugar cookies, that buttered rum. I think that's what the really comes out on warm with the espresso. It was so good. It was just sweet, um, like sickeningly sweet. Uh, so, like, if you melt this, don't be hungry. Make sure you eat because... It's going to amplify your hunger pains and kind of make you feel, well, at least for me, it made me feel like I wanted to actually take it out the warmers. And I had, you know, the as soon as it touched the heat, you're like, okay, wow. Like, okay, what is good? Like, this didn't even fully melt yet, and it's super strong. So this one is good. I would get this one again, but I just know for me, what I experienced the last time I melted this because I was hungry, it just made the hunger pains even more to where I felt nauseous and I was just like, okay. But once I ate, then it was like, oh, I feel fine now. Okay, this is what I'm used to. Like, the smell is not bothering me anymore. It was the weirdest thing because I kept saying, oh my God, like I enjoy this scent. What is going on? But it was because I was hungry and my, like, I literally was like, I need to eat something. I am starving. But I was doing so much doing other things where I was just like, oh, I'll eat later. I'll eat later. But when you're hungry, at least for me, I can't do that because the scent bothers me. It's super strong, but it's so good. It's, del it's very delicious. So just a, you know, warning, um, it is very strong. So, you know, if you're not into like a strong, sweet uh, coffee blends, this one might be, might not be the one for you. But with anything, I say try it and see because it may work differently for you. And that's the beauty of wax. We all get to try different things and see what works for us and what doesn't work for us. But I would buy this again because I do enjoy it. It's so good. And then we have our last of the empties. And this is Rainbow Melts. This was lavender cashmere, lavender linen. This was such a good scent. It was lavender-y. It was relaxing. It was um, just calming. Very, very... Um, beautiful scent. I would definitely get more of that in the future. This one was Silent Night. This was Flannel Sheets and Sugar Plum Berries. Definitely enjoyed this one as well. The Sugar Plum Berries um, really came out on this blend for me. And it, you got that berry note, the sweetness. This one, I definitely enjoyed that one. I did melt this one at nighttime. It was very beautiful. Would get more of that. We have Red Nose, and this was Tart Cranberries Glowing Ginger ginger Ale. And this one was really good. You got the tartness from the cranberries and that fizzy from the ginger ale. Ginger Ale definitely would get more of this one. Definitely enjoyed that. This one was Black Sugar, uh, Warm Vanilla, Raspberry, Agarwood, Myrrh, and Sandalwood. This was so good. It was very resinous. So if you're not... Um, if you don't like resinous uh, blends, you might not enjoy this one. But you got like that thick resinous note that comes from the tree. It was so good. Um, very um, warm because of the warmth from the warm vanilla. Um, the myrrh and the sandalwood just added extra warmth to it. It was woodsy. And then you had that raspberry. But it was so good. Like I enjoy the resinous note that's in black sugar. I love that. Um and it's really, like, to me, I really enjoy those type of scents. So this one was really good. But if, just be warned, 
it is very like black sugar you can pick out the resinous note in that at least i know i can a couple of other people said they got a resinous note as well um but i think that's what make black sugar unique that resinous note i would definitely get more of this one on its own and in blends This one was Peach Please, and this one is Fresh Peach Waffle Cone Cookie Haven. So this was from the sampler, the Cookie Haven sampler. This one was so good. I definitely enjoyed this one. You know, me and Peach have a love-hate relationship. This was a very delicious, good peach, along with the Waffle Cone and Cookie Heaven. Definitely enjoyed that. Would uh, look to getting more of this one. And I believe that was a customer creation as well. This one is Cookie Crusader, and this one, I believe, is Tam Tam's um, blend. This was, again, from the Cookie Haven uh, sampler, so it's Cookie Haven, Caramel, Marshmallow, Apple Pie. This was delicious. I definitely enjoyed this one. It was so good. Would look to get more of this one um, if this one was to come back around at some point. Um, thoroughly enjoyed that. This one is Michigan. This was from the advent calendar with um, the collab uh, collaboration that Britta and uh, Crystal did for Halloween. And this one was the little girl on Knock Knock Road. This was bubblegum, pink chiffon, cotton candy, and berries. Oh my God, you guys, this was so good. It reminded me of being a little girl going to the candy store and getting the bubblegum. You had that pink chiffon. It was like girly. Um, cotton candy was sweet and the berries. This was really good. I melted this in my daughter's room and she loved it as well. Definitely enjoyed this blend. It was such a fun um, kid scent. This one was Kentucky. Again, this was from the advent calendar. This was the goat man of Pope Lick and this was Barnwood Caramel Tobacco and Blackberry. This was so good. Um, it was woodsy. You had that caramel tobacco and that blackberry. Oh, wow. All of these notes blended together made this into a really beautiful blend. Definitely enjoyed that one. Um, I was sad to see it go, but it was really good when I melted it. We have carousel, and this was caramel apple Mexican fried ice cream. This was so delicious. Um, Mexican fried ice cream is so good and this in this blend it was delicious you had the caramel apple it was like warm cozy so just think of having a hot um slice of apple pie and then Mexican fried ice cream on top um like a dollop of it it was so good I definitely enjoyed this one would definitely look to get more of that if Crystal brought that one back around and this one is coffee bar. So this one is espresso and butterscotch bourbon. This was a delicious coffee blend. Definitely enjoyed this one. Um, really good. Would look to get more of that one as well. So that was it, guys, for the empties that I did. As you can see in the back, I have a ton of what I didn't finish melting, but what I melted in um, March. So what I'm going to do, I am going to end the video here because we're 43 minutes in. And I have to get ready for, uh, well, I am ready for work. I just have to queue up my computer, my laptop. Um, I have like nine minutes before I start. So I just want to get prepared, pull up, make sure I don't have anything urgent that I have to handle first thing when I sign in. Um, and I also have a meeting first thing this morning as well. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much if you made it to the end so far. Um, and I will catch you guys in part two. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I upload my next video. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.